everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jeku Tio. In this video, we are going to look at the reflection of light. Do you remember we talked about three different types of mirror and one of it is called the plain mirror, the one that we use daily to look at our image. Do you still remember what are the characteristics of the image that is formed by a plain mirror? Let's do some revision. Number one, the image is upright. Okay, the top and the bottom is the same. For example, the object, the candle here has the flame on top. Same goes to the image, also has the flame on top. So the image is upright. Number two, the size of the object and the size of the image is the same. Look at this boy. Him and his image are of the same size. And also the distance of the object from the mirror is also the same as the distance of the image from the mirror. So look at the boy and his image. Both of them stand away from the mirror at the same distance. OA is equal to OB. Number four, the image that is formed by plain mirror, they are laterally inverted. Even though they are upright, the top and the bottom is the same, but they are inverted sideways. Their left and right are inverted. And finally, number five, the image that is formed is a virtual image. That means the image that cannot be formed or projected to a screen. Now, we will look at the law of reflection. What is the law of reflection? It can be explained by using this diagram. Look at the diagram. Okay, the law of reflection say that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line, they all lie on the same plane. That means they are all on the same line. What is incident ray, normal line, and reflected ray? Let's look at the rays first. Incident rays is the light that is coming. Okay, the light that is original, the source of light. Okay, the light, the incident ray is the one that's shining towards the mirror. The reflected ray is the light that is bouncing off the mirror because of the incident ray. Okay, and how about the normal line? The normal line is a line that has 90, that is at 90 degrees from the plane, from the mirror. So say the mirror is this way, we can measure 90 degrees, make a line that will be our normal line. So the first thing that law of reflection tell us is that incident ray Reflected ray and normal line, they all lie on the same plane. Secondly, the law of reflection also stated that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. What is the angle of incidence? Okay, so Jeku Tio need you to pay attention here. We always measure the angle of incidence with reference to the normal line okay we must measure from normal line it is the angle that is made between normal line and incident ray that is called the angle of incidence it must be a way or uh, refer back to normal line many students they will mistakenly take the angle between the mirror and the incident as the angle of incidence that is wrong okay it is between the incident ray and the normal line this angle here is the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection will be the one in between the normal line and also the reflected ray so the I, I refer to the angle of incidence and R refer, refer to the angle of reflection are the same. Okay, they are of the same angle. So your science teacher might allow you to do this activity or experiment in your science lab where we will use a plain mirror, white paper, we will use our ray box as our incident ray and then we will measure I and R. And you will find out for yourself if I is really equals to R 
all the time. What are some applications of reflection of light in our daily life? Number one, have you ever seen this type of triangle by the roadside? It is called the emergency warning triangle. Okay, they are made of materials that is shining, that is uh, reflecting light easily, so that it can be seen by other cars to know that there is a car or uh, some vehicle in front of them that is breaking down, so they will avoid it. Okay, and also the traffic cone, same concept. You not often see the white or the silver uh, straps, or, or you see these lines, these stripes on top of the uh, traffic cone to use to indicate or to warn the coming cars of the part of the road that is damaged. And also, many signboards have light reflectors so that they can be seen easily at night. And workers normally wear safety jacket and helmet that are that are also uh, having the light reflectors to help us to see them clearly. That is for safety purposes. And if you ever um, notice the ambulance, the word on the ambulance are always written literally inverted. They are um, written inverted sideways. Have you ever wondered why? This is so that the driver in front of them, the car in front of them, when they look into their rear view mirror to look and see that the ambulance is coming, they can read the word correctly. Because one of the uh, characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror is that they will be laterally inverted. So if we write it this way, when they are inverted, you will be able to read it correctly. Okay? Well, that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you in the coming videos. Okay? Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.